Annotative dimensions in multiliters. First, I'm going to go up into my dimension style. In my dimension style, I have a I have a dimension style defined general dims and it's anno. You can see I have my scale set, and when I modify that, you can see it's set to annotation here. And my text is set to eighth inch tall. And I have all the settings here of you know my arrow sizes, eighth inch, etc. So everything's going to come out to be you know an eighth inch when it's plotted. So I go down in my model space and I'm going to create a dimension like I normally would as long as that's current, that dimension that dimension style is current. I'm going to go from the end point of, the, of here over to the end point of here. I'm going to place this dimension in and there's my dimension right there and I can tell when I hover over it I get the little triangle scale and that tells me it's annotative. I go back into my layout. You can see that I get my annotative scale shows up and it's going to be exactly now an eighth inch tall. So we put annotative dimensions and leaders in, uh, making sure that we use an annotative uh, dimension style. And you know we still have to figure out how far to put the the, the dimension line away from the from the objects uh, where to place the location line and I like to do that by eye you're gonna just have to figure that out you know what some people actually will go and calculate the dimension scale manually and I just think that's a little bit too much I think you just kinda do it visually if it doesn't work you know you go back and edit your dimension and move it so uh, annotative dimensions and multiliters make sure you use an annotative uh, dimension style and just dimension like you normally would and and you'll come out with a beautifully scaled uh, dimension in your layout.